Hello and welcome to Heathcote's Year 9 Parents Information event. Firstly, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Miss Guite and I'm the head of Year 9. The purpose of this event is to highlight key aspects for Year 9 to identify who is supporting your son or daughter and to share the vision of this year group. It's a real shame that we don't have the opportunity to meet in person, but I am hopeful that we will have the opportunity to meet in the near future. Please be assured, we as a school have your child's best interest at heart. We are committed to encourage pupils to take pride in their learning and in the community, to challenge pupils to take responsibility for their own learning and to succeed by reaching their full potential. Please feel free to go through this presentation in your own time and at a time that is most convenient for you. You may wish to stop and pause at any point, but do speak to your child about the information here as they too will have information shared by us at school. These are the items that we will be addressing throughout the presentation and I hope you will find this purposeful and informative. The information will remain public for you to watch at your most convenient time and to re-watch when needed. The challenges Year 9 pupils, parents and carers have faced over the year have to some degree shaped us to where we are now. The Year 9s had the opportunity to set the groundwork in Year 8 and despite facing a lockdown, I want this year, Year 9, to be the year that we plug the gaps in their knowledge and to narrow any gaps that may have appeared. We as a school know how challenging home learning is and we will aim to use this year to ensure all pupils make progress through grit. Grit is passion and perseverance for long-term and meaningful goals. It is the ability to persist in something you feel passionate about and persevere when you face obstacles. Through growth, resilience, intelligence and tenacity, Year 9 pupils will persevere to finish this year having selected the option choices, experience a range of subject options and represent school via various platforms. We know they are destined for greatness, so let's be the step up they need to get where they belong. I thank you for your continued support as we work through this year. There are a number of staff members supporting your child throughout Year 9 and beyond. To the far left, we have Miss Hillman, our head teacher. Then we have Mr Abbott in charge of quality of education and online learning. And next to him, Miss Close in charge of behaviour, ethos and safety. Joining them as part of our senior leadership team is Mr Hutchins, who is also the school safeguarding lead and attached to the year group. As mentioned at the start, myself, Miss Geitz, as the head of year, and next to me is Miss Gardner, our SENCO, who is also attached to Year 9. On the bottom line, we have our pastoral support team, which includes Miss Austin, our inclusion manager, Miss Blackwood, who manages the IEU, Mr Travis, who is in charge of punctuality, and Miss Warden, in charge of attendance, uniform and midterm admissions. And finally, to the right, we have Miss Barra, who is our EAL coordinator. Hello, parents and carers. My name is Mr Hutchins. I'm the SLT lead for Year 9s. I'm also the safeguarding lead at the school and one of the assistant head teachers. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for your support uh, with your children over the last eight, nine months uh, during a very, very difficult period. Um, your children have done exceptionally well on their return to school in September and also you know, during the, uh, the more recent lockdown when they've really engaged in lots of the work that's been placed online. Um, I'm well aware that things aren't always perfect. Some, some students and some children struggle with certain elements of the online work and also it's been a real adjustment for lots of staff making huge changes in the way they work um, and amending things so that things are more accessible um, in the online world. One of the things I did want to take um, the opportunity to speak to you about is just with uh, regard to online safety and some of the behaviours in the community. We'd ask for your support around um, social media and the apps that the young people are now accessing. We do want our, uh, our parents to take a... Uh, uh, a view of the social media as uh, a chance to find out about what their child is up to, have a look at what's going on on their phone. I know that may seem um, quite intrusive, but actually I think it's very, very important that parents do have an awareness of what their 
child is doing online? Are they communicating in an effective way? Is it a positive way? Sometimes we've had um, incidents where parents haven't really been aware of the type of communications that have been going on between groups. Um, a lot of the time, these are large groups, such as large WhatsApp groups or Snapchat. And the things that are getting posted aren't always uh, positive. And at times, there's malicious communications um, and some derogatory terms being used. So please, if possible, could I ask that you just um, keep an eye on this and monitor the usage as our young people become more emotionally aware and, uh, you know, have, have that little bit more empathy towards each other in some circumstances, this will improve and the way they communicate will get better. I think as parents, we like to trust our young people and our children as much as we can. But I think we need to gradually work that trust um, and not allow them free access to everything straight away. And at least, you know, monitor things as, as we're you know going along. Another thing I'd like to speak to you about, and both myself and Miss Guy had thought this might be uh, a good a good opportunity, is really um, children's or young people's behaviour uh, to and from school. So we've you know we've been in, asked to uh, investigate at times behaviours on buses or on the uh, on their routes to and from school. It is difficult for us as a school to monitor that entirely. We do have people on duty all the time. Um, but it's, you know, in, in the locality of the school as opposed to into the shopping areas. So please can I ask you to just, um, you know, speak to your, your child about how they're behaving in the community, just remaining respectful um, when they're getting on buses and on public transport. Please make sure they're wearing mask, masks. We try and uh, uh, ensure that whenever we're around. But obviously, a lot of the time when they go to Station Road or down to the Mount and they're getting further buses on or trains, it's down to them to really um, self-regulate and make sure that they are, you know, doing as required and, and wearing their masks and being respectful to the others that are that are involved in the journey. My final point would be uh, to just please congratulate um, your your sons and daughters. Uh, wish them a wonderful Christmas uh, when the term ends. I hope you and the, your families have uh, have an enjoyable time and. Um, with, uh, with things sort of easing over Christmas. Hopefully you can all get together with, uh, with families and, and enjoy a festive period. And we look forward to welcoming the Year Nines back in January. Year Nine Form Tutors. We have Miss Collins and Miss Dottavio, the Form Tutors of 9-1. We have Miss Gooden, 9-2. Mr. Talbot, 9-3. Miss Watson, 9-4. Miss Dadzi, 9-5, Mr Argarakis, 9-6 and Mr Rattan, 9-7. We will now hear from the form tutors. Hi, I'm Miss Collins and I'm 9-1's form tutor. I teach French and Spanish to Key Stage 3, 4 and 5 at Heathcote School. As you're aware, I became 9-1's form tutor at the start of their second term when Mr Tavia took maternity leave. The form class is a vibrant, energetic and talented group who challenge each other to create a culture of healthy competition. With Miss Dotavi returning in January, I'm sure she will be equally proud of how 9-1 have grown and developed into active learners. Salut tout le monde, saludos a todos. My name is Miss Gooden and I am the form tutor for 9.2 here at Heathcote School as well as the Head of Modern Foreign Languages. My subject, Specialism, is French and Spanish. Despite only knowing the pupils in 9.2 for a fairly short time, I'm proud to be your child's form tutor, as I've particularly seen 9.2 grow over the term and engage well in our philosophy, identity and ethics lessons. Their meaningful and thought-provoking opinions through our debates have really created a well-balanced form class. Nine, too, are exceptionally talented who manage to sustain high positive praise points. I'm also impressed with the members of the tutor group who have put themselves forward to represent the year group as pupil ambassadors. It's an important time for year nine, a challenging year, and pupils have vital decisions to make concerning their future studies, but rest assured the year nine team are here to work with you and your child. Hello, my name is Mr Talbot. 
I'm a Spanish teacher and I'm tutor for 9-3. I also speak Russian and a bit of Serbian and I'm originally from North London. My favourite thing about Year 9 is that they're all smart, strong individuals who know who they want to be in life. One of our jobs as tutors is to ensure that each pupil has the opportunities and learning time to develop their strengths and character and have an amazing future. I've really enjoyed working with 9-3, who I've known since the start of Year 8. Our tutor in Pi time is when I get to see our pupils in 9-3 and hear back about how they're doing. We also get to listen to each other and share our ideas about complex topics in Pi. They're a smart and strong form group, so they always have a lot of great things to say. Buenos dias, bonjour, and hello. I am Mrs. Watson. I teach Spanish and French, and I am the form tutor for the Fantastic 9-4. I come from Peru in South America, the land of the Inca civilization, and one of the seven wonders of the world, Machu Picchu, the Inca citadel. As a 9-4 uh, tutor, I have developed some great relationships with my tutees, and I'm really delighted to see their growth from year eight until now. I have thoroughly enjoyed popping into nine four classes and have witnessed their passion to actively, actively take ownership of their own learning. I know there are some difficulties with the changes and I hope pupils can see that some of the issues raised in our uh, PI lessons have been addressed. Things will get better and I will be here to support your child and continue to work with you. Hello, my name is Ms. Dazi and I'm 95's form tutor. My subject specialism is French. As a tutor, I'm particularly pleased with 95 as they have demonstrated support towards one another in class and around the school. It goes without saying that I'm really proud of one of my tutees who competed in a sporting activity and donated a cash prize to our school. 9-5 have merged well together as a form class and should be proud of their attendance. A successful 94.7% is among one of the best in the year group. Well done and keep it up. I've spoken or met so many parents, be it over the year or during the lockdown, and it is very refreshing to be part of a network that supports your child's success. Hello there, it's Mr. Argarakis here. Having already had 9-6 since the beginning of Year 8, it's been a real pleasure to see them grow up and mature into Year 9 pupils. It's been a really tough year with both lockdowns and of course missing so much school time. It is now more vital than ever for pupils to show real resilience and persistence with their learning. I would like to say a massive thank you to all the support that you as parents have given the form with their home learning during time off. And if there is any issues with online learning or any in-school issues, please don't hesitate to contact me via email and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Mr. Ratan and I'm 9 seven's form tutor. I currently teach design and technology along with DBE, which stands for Design Built Environment, and PCP, which stands for Professional Construction Practice. I am very fond of my form class as it all have unique personalities and when together work well to succeed. The best way for pupils to overcome the hurdles is to apply grit and as individuals we have a keen interest to support their growth, resilience, intelligence and tenacity. These tools are key in making sure your child has the ability to become a success story of Heathcote School. Moreover, I am aware pupils may struggle with the absence of tutor time but we are working on this behind the scenes to ensure that we as a school cater to your child's needs. It's always a pleasure seeing pupils work hard and strive for success in classes whenever I walk by. I mostly see them in their creative areas and I have seen some incredible designs and products made. I truly hope they continue to push themselves to be role models of the future and with your help I'm sure they will. I look forward to seeing them progress as humans and as individuals in the coming years. The next section of the presentation explores several aspects tailored to Year 9 pupils. Uniform and Equipment at Heathcote School, we believe that the school uniform plays a crucial role in creating an inclusive community, providing a school identity and demonstrating equality amongst pupils. Year 9 pupils are expected to wear school uniform at all times and a high standard of dress is required 
both within the school and when representing the school in the community. <clears throat> For this reason, all year nine pupils must follow the school policy. Please visit the school website for more information about providers. Year 9 pupils must wear a red stripey tie with a minimum of five bars of the stripe showing. Black school style trousers, no tight fitting, no jeans, knee length skirt or full length skirt. It is important to remember that the school expects a look that goes according to the uniform and does not distract pupils from learning. Hairstyles should be suitably formal. Significant hair coloring or shaving of hair, including patterns, is not permitted. Nail polish and acrylic nails are not permitted. One discrete item of jewelry may be worn, for example, stuck earrings. Earrings must only be worn in the earlobe. No other piercing is permitted. A large formal style bag <clears throat> is compulsory big enough to carry A4 books. And for drama lessons, pupils need to bring their drama socks with a gripped sole. As you are aware, the lanyard is also part of the uniform. Pupils are expected to wear it at all times. This is a non-negotiable. Lanyards cannot be in pockets or in the pupil's bag. <clears throat> they need to be worn at all times. As per equipment, it is essential that all year nine come to school each day fully prepared for every lesson with all the necessary equipment. Please see the images for support. Pupils must have at least three blue or black writing pens and a green pen for marking and making corrections in class. Pupils must also bring a reading book suitable to their reading level. All belongings must be clearly labeled uh, with the pupil's name. Each evening, when uh, pupils have completed uh, their homework, they need to check their timetable to ensure they have the right books and equipment for the next day. Behavior for learning. Year nines are an incredibly intelligent year group, but at times can still be quite silly. The first half term demonstrated the eagerness that pupils had towards actively taking ownership of their learning. Many of the nines are great at being respectful towards staff members, displaying polite etiquettes. However, as the term progresses, the number of pupils who have missing equipment increases, which in turn limits pupils being ready to learn. In year nine, there is an increased number of referrals in the second half term based on unsafe behaviours related to COVID-19 and breaches of COVID-19 rules. These are such challenging times and we understand that pupils want to enjoy school life, but this needs to be within the school's behavioural policy and must adhere to COVID-19 rules. Many pupils in Year 9 welcome the three warning rule and feel like they are able to self-regulate, which encourages them to remain in class. Despite our challenges this term, the behaviour report system has brought back some stability for our pupils and provides the opportunity to showcase positive behaviour that we all know can be achieved. There is a lot to be proud of and I am most pleased with the reduction of IEU referrals from year 8 to date. Keep up the effort and the reduction in referrals, year 9. Well done. It's really fantastic to see that most pupils are arriving at 8.50 and 8.55 to be ready to learn at 9 o'clock onwards. Please note that if they arrive into their first lesson after 9, this will result in a detention. Year 9 starts the latest out of all year groups, so there is no reason to be late. Please remind your son or daughter that when they're going to lessons after break or lunch, other pupils may still be learning at these times. They need to be considerate and keep the noise down in the corridors. They should also be wearing a face covering at all times when they're in these communal areas. This is for everyone's safety. We've also noticed that some pupils don't eat lunch at lunchtime. If they feel uncomfortable, shy, or don't like the lunch options, please do get in contact with their tutor or the head of year, or think about providing a packed lunch for school. Finally, 
please do remind your son or daughter to go to the toilet during break or lunchtime. There's no going to the toilet during lesson time unless the pupil has a purple card and permission from the school. We understand the challenges of the return to school, the changes to the school day and the longer lesson times and we're here to support pupils, parents and carers every step of the way. But we're also making up for a lot of lost learning time that we have experienced due to the pandemic. Every Heathcote pupil needs to be on time, behave sensibly and work hard so that they can have the best future possible. Parents and carers, please do speak with your son or daughter about their punctuality as well as their behaviour at break and lunch. Attendance. I would like to start off by saying a huge well done to all Year 9 pupils and parents who have attended school during this time. I know we had an unusual start to Year 9, but the pupils demonstrated their resilience and us as parents, staff and agencies involved have really come together to ensure the Year 9s have the best chance to succeed. The target attendance for every pupil is 95%. And although our year group attendance is 93.3%, I still think it is very promising. We understand there were nerves and worries about returning to school in September. But with the secure and structured strategies placed at Heathcote, our school is the best place for your son or daughter. Let, let us hit the 95 mark next term. Looking at the data for year nine, there are a few one day absences without medical evidence. Perhaps encourage your child to attend school. And if the issue persists, we will call. In the past, it has been helpful when parents call in to inform us of unwell pupils but still send their children into school. However, if your child has COVID symptoms, please do not. With regular attendance and avoidable one-day absences, we will increase percentages. As you are aware, pupils are automatically put in a in draw for 100% and most improved attendance which is another reason to celebrate people's success. Praise points. We want pupils to keep doing everything they can to gain praise points. Points can be used in exchange for prizes, which include sporting equipment, vouchers, and even a Kindle or a bike. Also, a massive well done to 9.3 for setting a great example for the year. Praise points are an amazing way for your children to be rewarded for outstanding work, behaviour, and kind acts that truly model what it is to be a star pupil. Detention. Please note the two different categories for detentions as seen on the poster to the left. IEU, homework, PE kit related detentions will be in the main hall. Truancy, punctuality, community, banned items, equipment based detentions will be in the dining hall on Friday with Miss Close. Most detentions can easily be avoided just by simply listening to the teacher the first time and pupils need to be responsible for their behaviour so they can spend their spare time in other positive activities. Please support us in ensuring that pupils attend their detentions to avoid further sanctions. Online learning. I would like to thank every pupil and parent or carer who have already engaged with online learning. However, there are still a significant number of pupils who are not submitting their work via Google Classroom. Many subject teachers upload work well in advance and therefore this work can be accessed by pupils and parents. From our monitoring, evaluating and reviewing cycle, some pupils are pressing handed in with no attachment. Therefore, it will appear that they have completed their homework when in actual fact they have not. The expectation is that pupils will submit their work online via Google Classroom. This can be uploaded by either attaching a document or taking a photograph of their work. Whilst many pupils in Year 9 are successfully handing in work, we are still concerned about the few pupils who are not. For live lessons taught online, the expectation is now that pupils must have their cameras turned on so staff can check if pupils are engaging with work. Pupils being disruptive will be removed from lessons. 
Pupils must not share any private information and report any offensive and abusive behaviour or content. I would like to start off by saying well done to Year 9 pupils on what has been a fantastic start to the school year so far. Pupils have had a great start despite the challenges we face today. In particular this half term, I have received great feedback from teachers who are pleased with the behaviour and subject coverage in Year 9. We all agree that pupils need to be in school and therefore have made a number of changes to ensure all pupils access learning and are safe. We have pushed for pupils to be ready for learning through uniform and equipment checks, ensure that pupils are safe through our school's track and trace systems, such as allocated seating numbers, lunch arrangements and the use of the breakout room. These are just some of the changes since September, but seem to have had the biggest impact. In my recent discussions with the maths department, they have seen a notable change in the year nine behaviour and have awarded many pupils with subject awards, S1s. I would like to thank you as a parent, carer and in some ways extended family members who together we have definitely supported the Year 9 for a successful start to the year. As we head into the new year, you may be aware that Year 9 pupils will be selecting the GCSE options next year. The options process will be different to previous years but we aim to offer a broad and balanced curriculum for all pupils to ensure that they are academically prepared for life ahead. I would advise you begin talks with your child around future ambitions, interests and what subjects they would like to take forward. This Year 9 cohort is an incredibly bright and talented year group. We are working on the next steps and will inform you timely. The target grades for pupils in Year 7 to 9 are set using Fisher Family Trust estimates and are targets for the end of Year 11. They are FFT20 estimates which are created using the performance achieved by similar pupils in previous years. Similar pupils are those with the same gender, month of birth and key stage 2 scores or CAT scores for this year's current year 7. At key stage 3 we work out if a pupil is on track to meet their year 11 targets by taking their challenge week assessment scores and ranking them against the rest of the year group to create grade boundaries. This is then compared to their targets to say if the pupil is on, below or above in that subject. In addition to this, pupils will receive an effort grade and a homework grade. To realise this vision, pupil ambassadors will aim to foster greater collaboration and unity between all pupils throughout the school. Enable creativity to flourish as the school community benefits from the wealth of experience, ideas, skills, and a sense of fun that pupils bring. Provide opportunities for pupils to develop leadership skills through a variety of inspiring and challenging and valued projects which have impact both positively on learning, teaching, and outcomes and ultimately improve the well-being for both pupils, staff and the school. It will also prepare pupils for further and higher education, granting them opportunities to develop core skills that will serve them well in later life. I would also like to congratulate the following year nine pupils who were successful throughout the process. Caden, Zorai, Alex, Phoebe, Lakshana and Bernice all presented themselves brilliantly over the interview process and will be our pupil ambassadors for 2021. Hi, I'm Miss Bennett and I work in the careers team at Heathcote. This presentation is just to give you a little bit of information about the careers programme at Heathcote. Um, and it's a programme of events tailored to each stage of our pupils learning journey so that's from year seven when they join us and they start to think about careers and skills needed in the world of work and just just getting to know those ideas all the way through to years 12 and 13 when they may be making choices about employment apprenticeships or going off to university
So in addition to careers education in the classroom, we also offer a number of other opportunities to our pupils. This includes one-to-one -one, um, information advice and guidance sessions, access to work experience placements, information about apprenticeships, um, industry insight day, so the opportunity to meet with employers um, and find out about specific industries and job roles, um, further and higher education taster days, um, open days at universities. We also link up with employers and unis to offer mentoring schemes and we can help with applications, so be that for university or for sixth form or even job applications, we can help um, pupils to um, develop their employability skills and um, practice interview techniques. So this diagram kind of shows you a bit more clearly the different stages of education and the different levels of qualification. So you can see within secondary education you've got your GCSEs up in the sort of top left hand side and then below that you've got further education so that's college, sixth form um, and intermediate and advanced apprenticeships up to level three. Um, moving over onto the right hand side level four through to level eight this is your higher education so um, um, university routes and higher rates higher level and degree level apprenticeships as an alternative to um, full-time university. So here I've just given you some tips. Um, these are the kind of conversations that we all have in the one-to-one -one sessions with pupils. Um, if they know what they want to do, then it's really good just to kind of, you know, draw out of them some more information about that. What do they know about sort of the pathway that they're they would like to take have they looked at the skill sets required and what qualifications they need are they clear on you know what the role entails what they'll be earning what sort of hours they'll need to do and the working conditions um, and also kind of how realistic is it um, in terms of the job opportunities are are there lots of jobs out there in their chosen field or is it a dying kind of industry you know things are moving towards more automation um, um, so is it is it a job that's going to be affected by the future world of work? Um, if they don't know what they want to do, then that's fine. Um, it's all right not to know at this age exactly what they want to do. That's perfectly fine. Um, but what we would do is encourage self-awareness here. So we would get them to think about their own strengths and their interests and their qualities what are they good at um, what do they feel passionate about what would be important to them in a potential career do they want to travel etc um, how does it link to their subjects what subjects do they enjoy and why are their job roles linked to that that they can take that further um, and then hobbies and interest what what do they do outside what do they love what gets them up and gets them uh, motivated can they link that to the potential sort of pathways of, of work and career ideas? So I hope this presentation has been helpful and it's given you a bit of an overview into the work we do in school. Um, this last page, you've got my contact email address on here. Um, feel free to contact me with any questions relating to careers or progression or work experience, etc. Um, you can check the careers bulletins that are sent out on Google Classroom and Parent Mail. The sign up codes are on this screen for pupils to sign up to the Google Classrooms if they haven't done that already please get them to do so and then at the bottom there's just you know these are the most used go-to websites that I use in sessions with students I thought I'd share them with you um, they're quite user friendly and there's loads of information on there thanks for listening It has been a pleasure to have your child back in school and doing so well. It has been a fantastic start so far and I'm incredibly proud of how most pupils have conducted themselves both in and around school. It's always good to see and hear from parents, carers, ensuring children are prepared for school. But interestingly, it's the pupils we wanted back, even if it's only to spot who has returned with a strange new hairstyle, whose voice broke over the summer and who came back a foot taller than they were last term. 
I have had the opportunity to pop into many lessons, catch up with pupils and speak and possibly meet a few parents, albeit over Zoom. But one thing is for sure, we all want the best for the Year 9 pupils and all believe the school is the best platform. I would like to congratulate both Abby and Taya for their individual efforts. Abby beautifully handcrafted poppies made out of wood with her dad for Remembrance Day, while Taya supported a member of the public by calling the ambulance service. Equally, the return of Hot Chocolate Friday creates the opportunity to reward pupils based on positive praises, pupil hard work, punctuality to lessons, as well as contribution to Heathcote School. Such great initiatives and representation makes me so proud to be the head of year. If you would like to make a quick inquiry, please use our inquiry form available on the school website. We will contact you as soon as possible. Alternatively, you may wish to contact the staff directly if you have a specific question in mind. Thank you for watching this presentation. I hope you have found this purposeful and meaningful.